I'm Viana Rizzuto and I'm, uh, let, let me just say that I'm very pleased to be here and have the chance, the opportunity to exchange with all of you strategies and thoughts and experiences about the sustainable development of, the, of our West Med uh, area. I am responsible for the Sustainable Tourism Development Unit of, uh, at PRISM. PRISM is a, a social enterprise based in Sicily which has been working for more than 10 years uh, with the European projects. And PRISM's PRISM mission is to um, intercept the European funds so as to generate long-lasting, concrete and sustainable impacts on the territories from a social, cultural and economic point of view. So one of the main areas of interest with PRISM uh, that I'm personally dealing with is the contribution to the sustainable development of the West Med area. There are several projects we are carried out. We, ha we have uh, uh, carried out within Prism and other valuable, part valuable partners, uh, European and not European partners, uh, during the last seven, eight years on this topic. I'm talking about Tourism, Tourism Plus, and so on. But today I'm going to talk about the last one, which is the Reboot Med. Reboot is uh, stands for recovering, experiencing, and boosting ecotourism in the West Med areas. Um, this is a 24 month flagship project aiming to encourage public and private partnership so as to define 10 blue economy action plans for the recovery of the tourism sector and so, to, so as to incubate, accelerate and test 10 eco blue economy tourism packages in six, in six West Med areas, countries. The partnership is composed by nine partners and five associated partners. Three of them are non-European partners. And uh, as regards the project pillars, um, I, I would like to say that Reboot Med is implemented through three results-oriented pillars. The first one, first of all, capacity building and awareness raising, which is very important for us, and this is made uh, thanks to the creation of 10 multi-stakeholder clusters and a series of changes that uh, organize in collaboration with the West Med initiative. Second very important pillar for us is about promoting and based development approach and leveraging on local assets. This is crucial for us because the aim here is uh, we think that if we want to support and stimulate the tourism SME, coastal communities and potential pioneers, we need to make them play uh, uh, an, um, as actors uh, of change in the reimagining and rebuilding coastal and maritime tourism. And the third, the last but not the least, third pillar uh, to close the, the loop is the lesson learned which uh, will be shared and capitalized at local and West Med level. As we get the key objectives, the first one is to concretely support the starting up of new ideas, projects, proposal, as well as job creation within the ecotourism niche market in the West Med area. Second is to co-design, accelerate and test uh, 10 blue economy tourism products and packages. And finally, to measure, and thanks to the measuring uh, results, uh, to improve the ecological footprint of eco blue economy tourism packages. Here you have a kind of mapping of the key activities we are dealing with. I know, one minute more, okay? <laughs> and uh, uh, so, as I told you before, so we are working with the public and private stakeholders, so we are encouraging them to work together within the, the, within the local multi stakeholder clusters. And um, so once the action plans are defined, thanks to these clusters, we have 10 call for ideas that have been launched in order to find, to select and to accelerate 10 ideas project organizations. And of course, one another important part of the project is the, are the living labs and exchanges that have um, organized to reach more than 150 participants in six different countries so as to uh, disseminate project results and so learned at West Med level. Since I have just, I think, 30 seconds, uh, I will just go uh, to the end of the, to my last uh, slide because for us it's very important to talk about the impacts that we are, uh, that we are already um, gathering with our projects in just a few, few months of uh, management. So the very first, the first uh, impact that we have already collected 
is about uh, is tied with the uh, ten public private uh, private and uh, multi stakeholder clusters that we have created. Why? What does that mean? It means that in each of these ten pilot areas, so we are actually witnessing uh, really a strengthening of collaboration between the public and private stakeholders bodies, and this is very important. So, in order to transform natural resources and cultural heritage into sustainable development. The second impact that we are already witnessing with, this, with our project is the, uh, is the fact that thanks to the analysis conducted by the multi-stakeholder clusters, a, a shared awareness of the needs and the opportunities to decide is increased. And this is a crucial point if we want to have a, a unique vision towards a sustainable development of our territories. And finally, thanks to the organized living lives, uh, different realities, but with similar territorial resources, are finding common points, sources of inspirations and lessons learned from which to learn from each other to do better in the future. So it's like we are, it's like to say that the third impact that we are witnessing is a kind of a continuous um, capacity building process. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed and I could be... Okay. <laughs>